Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're unboxing the Suari S1000 portable power station, a powerful 1000 watt unit that's perfect for camping, backup power, off-grid use and more. To make it even better, I'll also be plugging in the Suari 100 watt solar panel to show you how to charge it directly from the sun. Let's get into it. It's well packaged, as you can expect from Swari. There is another box inside of the first box, as usual. Some padding. Right out of the box. Suari S1000 is solid and well built. It comes with usual accessories. There is a user manual. Power charging. Cable for solar charging. And a car charger. Let me put this away and I will be back. This model features a 725 watt hour lithium battery and a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So you can power everything from your phone to small appliances. On the front we've got multiple output options. Two AC sockets for 220 volts, four USB-A and two USB-C ports a car socket on the side and a flashlight on the other side you can turn it on like this <coughs> first we need to turn on the machine so let's power it up it's 60% charged now we can use the flashlight it's got few modes. If you press it one second. If you press it once, it turned on. Press it twice, it's blinking SOS. And if you press three times, it's just blinking. If you press four times, you turn it off. Now let's test the solar charging. I've got the Swari 100 watt foldable solar panel here. It can, uh, it connects easily using the included MC4 to DC cable. I need to plug in this red one into red one and the black one to black one and this goes in here. As soon as it's plugged in and getting sunlight, the screen shows input voltage. We're currently getting around 75, 76. Let's wait for the inverter to settle. 77. I think 7, 79. Will we get to 80? Ok, so 79, 78, roughly 80%, <coughs> which is not bad considering the conditions. Yeah, you can see that it's charging. So there you have it, the Swari S1000 power station unboxed and charging directly from the sun using their 100 watt panel. I will be doing more real world tests soon. If you're thinking about getting off-grid or just want a backup power, this setup might be worth checking out. Don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more tests. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.